Embrace the strange. Today's illusion is schism. This is a new page, so a new stage. The first page of another 6x6 canvas paper pad. In honor of embracing the strange, I'm exploring my more abstract, although more likely surreal in a nightmare sense of the word, ideas, this being the first. From the waist up, the figure is split open, its edges sharp and serrated. From each side, an arm is outstretched, clutching one another for security, while the other arm flails about. The two sides are identical, with their blue hearts and yellow eyes exposed in the raw red interior of the figure. Demise of the whole feels certain, yet the halves console each other as they embrace the unknown. That's just one analysis. It might read different to me later, or to you currently. How do you interpret this piece? Please comment it below. While I paint these things, I'm hardly ever fully conscious of what they mean to me, and I don't really question why I feel compelled to paint these things. I just paint what speaks to me, and most often that is um, what is engaging or fascinating. Though more recently, I have been implementing certain parameters as a sort of a catalyst effect for growth. I approached it with the same perpetual skepticism I have. I worked really carefully, and despite that, it didn't turn out how I envisioned it. However, it still turned out better than I thought. So I'm proud of it for the start of this pad. It was intentional. I do want to push myself. It is definitely a continuation of the Hyde series, although I'm not sure if it aligns perfectly, so I might, I don't know, I'll, I'll look over it later. It has somehow, you know, become stranger. It's taken a very perplexing twist to me. I like it, though. I looked back at my older work, and I remember the ideas I had about them. My mindset held me back a lot. I thought, roughly one to two years ago, any sort of expansion would result in the deterioration of my art style. I think at the time, it was, to me... I thought it was like compromising on something integral, like my artistic essence would die or something. I was I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. As of the past 60 to 80 paintings of the other canvas pads I have done have made very evident. I think I've really grown more into myself. I can't tell you who that is in words, but the paintings do, and the pieces that follow this will prove it even more. So I guess it just reflects that I'm very stubborn and resent change that doesn't occur on my own terms. So, if you take anything away from this painting, it is art, truly art, and art goes on. So I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.